Yo, 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 it's me, that random sitting guy again. And I'm about to watch Death Battle. Mmm, Rocket Raccoon vs. Stitch is about nine hours old. Guys, this was gonna be a doozy. See, spoiler, 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 I'm sprinkling the spoil juice all over you. Because we found out in the last Guardians movie that I watched on Saturday that Rocket is, in fact, it's a cart. Spoilers, he's a raccoon. He's actually just a super-powered raccoon, enhanced with alien technology. Which is cool. That's cool. He's not entirely an alien, but Stitch is. Obviously, Stitch is unmatched in terms of power, but Rocket is unprecedented when it comes to intelligence. He's objectively smarter than Stitch. That's just a fact. And he's more versatile, and he's been through a lot more combat. And the fact is that, given the Guardians of the Galaxy plot, he has never been mortally wounded before that before that movie started. And yes, that might just be in the MCU, but I want you to think about that for a second. This bounty hunter turned galactic superhero has never been mortally wounded, or else he would have died because he can't be healed. That's pretty amazing, right? Even though we face against powerful monsters and enemies every single day, every single day, and one little and one little bad blast almost killed him. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight. If you are ready to see who wins, let's go ahead and jump straight in. I don't know what that was. Don't ask. Sixteen shades of toast in the morning. It's sponsored by BetterHelp and Mint Mobile. Oh yeah. Ooh, 4K. I want that in 4K. Mm. Okay. Rooster teeth, let's go, baby. Stitch, Disney's extraordinary experiment 626. Rocket, mm -hmm. Marvel's murderous mercenary mustelid. Those are like Bro. weasels and ferrets. And I'm sorry, I know I know we just started, but this is crazy. These guys are both basically superhuman animals, but they're they're super animals. They're both extremely intelligent. Rocket is smarter and Stitch is stronger than Rocket. They've just got so much versatility with Stitch being able to shrug off a lot of hits, but Rocket all but Rocket being sneaky enough to dodge them. I don't know who's gonna win. You know, because he's a <clears throat> just because you're cute and fluffy doesn't mean you aren't the deadliest thing in the universe. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I just, I'm trying to think about this because usually people call out who they want to win before the match starts. I think that I'm going to go with Stitch because Rocket definitely has weapons at his disposal that can kill Stitch. But unless he has those weapons on his person in the fight, then he is going to lose because Stitch is a, is way more resilient than him. He just is. Stitch, his frick, his freaking, what's the word? His durability is unmatched, at least in this combat. At least, at least in this matchup. In the distant I think he's gonna last him. Space, he's gonna outlast him. The mad scientist Jumbo Jukiba was accused of illegal genetic experimentation. He yeah, the galaxy's most a lot fearsome, of it. Most dangerous, most absolutely purely black-hearted <laughs> evil creatures and smushed them all together. A That's lot a of it. The man with a vision, persecuted by spineless know-nothing bureaucrats. The result? Experiment 626, though you can just call him Stitch. Yeah. He did not. I think I'm gonna be sick. Dang. Oh, so naughty. <laughs> After being slated for termination, Wait, what the Stitch... Frick? He's 18? How do we even know that? How do we know that? He escapes to a distant planet, Eard. Oh, wait, Earth. Crash landing in the Hawaiian How island of Kauai. How do we know Kauai he's 18? There he'd be adopted by the Earth Girl Lilo and went incognito as the ugliest dog ever. Dang. And despite his horrific upbringing, Stitch found he had a softer side, a love of Elvis, and a mm. kinship with Lilo, a devil child who didn't fit in, just like him. It devil wasn't long before Dang. Stitch was ready to do anything to protect his new Ohana from the Aww. alien threats coming to get him. And let me tell you, as a fellow mad scientist, Jumbo really outdid himself here. I've been meaning to dig deeper into Stitch's piecemeal alien biology for years. First of all, his fluffy exterior 
is entirely bulletproof, fireproof, and nearly impenetrable. Oh, this comes with a catch. Yeah. His molecular structure is so dense, he can't swim. Zuxi landed in Hawaii of all places. Jesus. Stitch can crawl. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. When that when the thing glitched, it makes me think that it needs charging, so we're just going to go ahead and plug this in. Also, yes, he I forgot I forgot that he could not swim at all. On walls, hear a whisper from miles away. He won't need to. And scream so loud, he'll blow you to kingdom come. He's strong enough to lift 3,000 times his own Easy. body weight and can spin dash so fast, he'll burst into flames. His eyesight is also incredible. He's got night, x-ray, and infrared vision. Yes, and can even sir. zoom in hundreds of times over. Even better, he can hop loogies like a friggin' machine gun. His spin is conductive enough to short-circuit electronics, stick objects together like glue, and even dissolve solid rock. Nasty. Oh, and he's somehow a genius, too. The dude knows molecular physics and can build entire mech suits and spaceships out of junk in seconds. You wouldn't think it from his everything, but Stitch <laughs> is a genius with a brain comparable to a supercomputer. The world's most powerful supercomputer right now is Hewlett Packard's Frontier, which can make one quintillion calculations a second. Comparing Stitch to Frontier is frankly a massive lowball. See, but. But, but, I'm still gonna, I'm still, I'm still going to say that Rocket is smarter than Stitch. Stitch is smart, Stitch is stronger, he is eons more durable, and much more versatile body-wise. Rocket is versatile with weapons, Stitch is versatile with his molecular, his molecular, what, what was I even gonna say, his biology, but Rocket is definitely smarter. Stitch was programmed to Somehow. have Jumba's own intelligence. And Jumba's IQ has been compared to that of an entire galaxy combined. Never mind, I have maybe they're my even. own genetic analysis to determine Stitch's alien progenitors. His DNA includes traces of the Manglioid of Meridian 4, the Goo Goblin Booger Beast, the People Eating Pus Monkey, the Deadly Disemboweler, the Boiling Tongueoid, and the Bottom Feeding Scum Sucker. <laughs> Sounds like your ex wife. <laughs> Am I right? Yep. No, Wiz. What the hell? That's such a messed up thing to say about her. What? Be better. I'm so disappointed in you. you what? You can make those jokes when you start paying the alimony. Wait, what? Uh, what just well, happened? Stitch's incredible buffet of alien DNA is supported by a power cell embedded in his body, fueled by the energy of two colliding planets. Huh? Colliding planets! I don't think that Rocket's uh, gonna have an uh, easy time uh, with are, this. Are you coming back? No. Maybe I pick. I think I picked okay. right. He's got a jetpack, freeze ray, grenades, and a seismotronic 200, which can make sandwiches gigantic. <laughs> oh, trick enemies! That's that's cool too. Stitch was a one fluff army, and he proved it when everyone from the Galactic Federation to the dastardly Doctor Hamsterveil came to pick a fight with him, including all of Jumba's experiments. All yeah, of them. Yeah, six two six isn't just some random number. There are hundreds of these little bastards running around. More trouble making cousins to add to his growing. Ohana. Though he had to pacify many of them first, like Slushy, who can create a snowstorm that covered all of Kauai. Or Richter, who can split the Earth in half and shatter planet-busting asteroids. Yep. Jumba stated that Stitch was the most destructive, unstoppable monster the universe has ever <laughs> seen. Literally. Even more dangerous than Polio who can create a black hole large enough to consume the entire universe. Speaking of black holes, in the anime, yes, there's a Lilo and Stitch anime, Stitch once piloted a ship carrying a supernova bomb strong enough to wipe out a galaxy and uh. flew it into a black hole. Uh. It and the black hole both exploded on top of him, and he popped out no worse for the wear. You know, uh. like, like you do. Another time, uh. he piloted a ship to a different black hole in less than two minutes. It's unclear exactly how far this was, but the average distance between stars is about five light years. That means his ship would have had to have been flying at over one million times the speed of light. And when he's filled with love for his Ohana, the power cell inside Stitch surges incalculably. He used this to defeat- Nah, hold on. Hold on. The earbuds popped out. Hold on. God dang it. Oh.
pregnant. Would have had to have been flying. Or so inside Stitch surges incalculably. He used this to defeat Dark End, an experiment explicitly made to be stronger than Stitch, who had just defeated four Stitch clones on his own. And Stitch completely annihilated him. He knocked Dark End into outer space so hard he dislodged a city-sized space station. You know, like you do. This He's anime sounds hard as heck. His way into completely different Disney properties. Bruh. God, we don't have another Deadpool on our hands, do we? Glad. Stitch around, Lilo, Nani, and the inhabitants of Earth couldn't be safer. Surf's up for everyone's favorite blue fuzzball of death. Woo! Aloha, baby. Uh, this episode is sponsored by. Uh, Instead of Kobe, you can switch. Up. I want to hear about the raccoon, baby. Mm -hmm. I have wasted. What the frick? No, I went too far. Dang it. Hold on. See, this is what I get for not using my mouse. The Black Mountain Hills of Dakota. There was a young boy named Rocky Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon. Dakota. Rock, not Rocky. That's the Beatles song he's named after. Well, <laughs> I have wasted a lot of time on some very specific research. In fact, it's just Rocket. Despite his startling resemblance to the resourceful dumpster diving mammal, Rocket originates from the alien planet Halfworld which served as an asylum for the criminally insane ruled over by alien humanoids. Along with many of Half-World's cutesy inhabitants, Rocket was subjected to cybergenetic modifications by his overlords. All uh, that's not what the last movie said, mate. You guys wanna you guys might want to check that. Yeah, he does originate Okay, never mind. He it does say, we all know that he originates from Half-World, but they kidnapped him from Earth as a baby. Raccoon. At least they didn't explicitly say that. They did not explicitly say that he was a raccoon, but but it was implied by the fact that he looked inside the little baby's. He looked inside the little baby raccoon's eyes. It's like, holy crap! I want to take care of you for the rest of my life because you look exactly like me. Then he looked at the little cage. Oh frick! It's a raccoon. I guess I'm one too. Then he said, "I'm Rock a raccoon." So it's, come on, bro. You. All with the purpose of being Half World's Warden, Ranger Rocket. Rocket's mutations make him smarter, stronger, faster, and tougher than your average garbage goblin. His yeah. cybernetic skeleton is connected to artificial vertebrae and neural implants, allowing him to dodge gunfire and laser beams, survive an explosion the size of a city block, and keep up with supervillains like Kraven and Venom. Alongside pals Lila the Otter and Walrus the, yeah, Rocket and the battle, and the bunny, mercenary Blackjack O'Hare and Killer Clowns and save the day. Don't time forget the bunny. Time again. I bet you're wondering what the hell this has to do with Guardians of the Galaxy. What happened to the In bunny? In a convoluted editorial effort to reboot his character, Rocket left Half World to become a mercenary and had his memories suppressed. After a betrayal by his otter lover, a different one. He has a thing for otters. Rocket was sent to jail, space jail. And prison changes a man. Gun was the Saturday morning cartoon character of yore. He was a felon, cynical and hardened <laughs> by the criminal justice the system. The space criminal justice system. Yeah, Rocket first, suffered not party. only from his penal servitude, but the trauma of his brutal genetic modifications and a lingering sense of alienation. It was in this personal hell where he'd meet a bunch of a-holes who would soon be his new teammates. Right. Star Lord, Gamora, Drax, and of course, his Bro. best pal Groot. And together, Arr. they were the Guardians of the Galaxy. Defending the free peoples of the cosmos from all manner of alien menace. For a price, of course. Though unlike some of the powerhouses on his team, Rocket's raccoon body is- I told you he's not a raccoon. He was created on Half-World. The movie said that he was a freaking raccoon. Shut up. Is the last of an entire race of raccoon-like aliens. He just happens to look like an Earth raccoon. Don't lecture me on raccoons, Wiz. I'm an expert. Been fighting the bastards for years. Did you know their tiny little bandit masks are for reducing glare to enhance night vision? They yes. can hear noises as quiet as earthworms digging underground. I did and not know two that. Two-thirds of the sensory perception part of their cerebral cortex is devoted to their tactile impulses. That's why they hmm. grab shit with their tiny little Hands. Are perfectly suited to a nimble, stealthy glass cannon like Rocket. Yeah, cuz he's a raccoon. As I was saying, right. Rocket became the team's resident grease monkey, specializing in all things technology and engineering. And fittingly, his specialty in combat is firearms. Yeah, that sounds like my cue, Wiz. Rocket. It's built giant mix, cobbled together random junk for an improvised flamethrower, and casually slapped. Okay, hold. God. Frickin' dang it, this stupid thing decides to glitch out all the time.
flamethrower, and casually slap together a bomb strong enough to destroy a moon. Like oh, a boss. And he's got every kind of hand cannon imaginable. Pistols, machine guns, miniguns, rifles, rocket launchers, mm. plasma guns, laser guns, and my favorite, the melon popper. Where yeah. melon means head and pop means... Oh. That melon belonged to a Super Scroll, one of the deadliest warriors in the Marvel Universe. With the combined abilities of the Fantastic Four, including the Thing, who survived a blast from the power cosmic that could split a planet in two. Yeah, Rocket's weapons are crazy, like the Rampart Armed Phasic Cannon, which utilizes cold fusion and could melt the face off the Mad Titan himself, Thanos! Ooh. The same Thanos who is strong enough to survive a supermassive black hole four light years across, and came out with only light scratches. The the very same purple Shrek who's battled universe busters <laughs> and beyond the like Thor, Shrek. Hulk, and Odin. If Thanos can walk through attacks from a dude who can shake the multiverse and Rocket's guns can hurt him, yep. I'll need one of those puppies under my pillow AC. Yep. And similar weaponry to what Rockets use can operate down to the picosecond, which is one trillionth of a second. He can access all of these goodies at any time from his orbital stash, a remote controlled satellite that'll deliver anything he wants lickety split. Excuse Rocket me, what? Zoom through the sky on his rocket skates, project force fields, teleport with a portable AI, melt through solid metal with acid, and even hack foreign technology. Anything from a prison to a planet to an entire galactic empire, Rocket's the most dangerous not raccoon who's totally a raccoon in the whole he universe. He is a raccoon. And he's proven it with the Guardians. He's saved Earth at least 11 times, cured <laughs> Ego the living planet of a lice infestation, and held his own against an entire world trying to kill him all at once. He even devised a plan that ultimately stopped Dormammu. The Lord of the Friggin' Dark Dimension! What? The Wonder Star Lord called Rocket the greatest tactical mind he's ever met, even if sometimes he has a tendency to run in guns blazing. Though he'd always be a wisecracking son of a bitch, his time with the Guardians softened his edges. Aww. He learned to enjoy life again, and even made it back to Half World to send that bastard Blackjack O'Hare packing. And even though he clearly is one, whatever you do, don't call him a raccoon. Right. There's nowhere in the galaxy to hide from this gun toting mother. All right, guys, place your bets in the comments. I'm still going for Stitch, man. I know that Rocket's weapons are freaking insane, and apparently he can access them at any time he wants, but I think that Stitch is going to find a way to overpower him. I do. All Stitch has to do is get in close, and there's nothing Rocket, there's nothing Rocket can do. He's just going to get ripped in half. I really I think that Stitch is going to take this. I really do. Let's see if I'm wrong. Three, two, one, go. This episode of Dirty <laughs> Keep your wireless mint. Run the day. Metal. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. Get him, Stitch. Come on, bro. <laughs> that, that, that movie was freaking awesome, though. I have not. You guys remember the Lilo and Stitch movie? Hey, it's this guy, Space Hawaii. What? Why did you jump in the volcano, bro? Aww. You're you so mean. You my ship, Flark Face. You're so mean. You dropped his freaking ice cream. Jeez. What did you say about my mother? <laughs> the frisk. Hold on, I want to see. What did you say about my mother? No, it's not going to translate it. Whatever. Don't let it touch you. You disgust me. Ooh. He just shook that, that, that. He shook it off. This is so goofy. What is that? <laughs> Bruh. Is that a is that a nuke? That's a freaking nuke. You've got to be kidding me. Good stuff. 
That's it. Gonna need a bigger gun. Why did you almost throw up? Did he just absorb the energy from that thing? Come to Papa. I guess you could call this my Thanos Buster. It's hunting season now, Buzzball. No! Oh, Stitch, you you idiot! Get up! Get up! Huh? This thing you're just built on mech. I'm dead. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, a rocket. That's even better. Don't let him get close or else he'll kill you. Don't let him get close or else he'll kill you. He killed him. Oh, frick. Oh, no, not again! Oh, okay. Really? Really? Disrespectful. Disrespectful. You know, brutally murdering ice cream guy wasn't necessary, Wiz. But Not at all. I felt it was an artful touch. Though similar in many ways, Stitch and Rocket's fighting styles were polar opposites. Mm -hmm. Stitch was more than strong enough to tear Rocket apart physically, while Rocket's guns were powerful enough to kill people even stronger than Stitch. So the question was simple. If both of them only needed one hit to win, who would get the killing blow first? It all came down to speed. Rocket has dodged lasers, and his guns could operate down to the picosecond, one trillionth of a second. But Stitch's supercomputer brain could operate down to the quintillionth of a second, mm -hmm. a million times faster, at minimum. And his ability to pilot that ship at over a million times the speed of light meant that he more than had the reaction speed to dodge anything Rocket threw at him. Rocket's tactical brilliance meant he could keep Stitch at bay with tricks for a while, but he couldn't reliably seal the deal, despite being a little blue goblin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stronger, faster, more durable, has experience adapt. He does he does adapt to foes. No exploitable weakness, that's true. All he all Rocket had was his equipment. Likely smart nah, I don't I don't think so, man. I think that I still think that Rocket's smarter. I understand that Stitch is his supercomputer, but I really think that Rocket's smarter because he can adapt better. Can he he can plan better, okay? He is a he is a really good tactical mind, and Stitch, he's just got the strength to go in guns blazing. <laughs> Figuratively, of course, because he don't use guns. He uses he uses his fists. He uses these guns, you know what I mean? But I don't know. for a while, but he couldn't reliably seal the deal, despite being a little blue I mean, Stitch goblin. One, Stitch so usually stays level Maybe he is smarter. I don't know. Whereas Rocket can be way more impulsive. And frankly, Stitch is probably even smarter, considering he has the combined IQ Maybe. of an entire galaxy. One slip up from Rocket is all Stitch would need to end the fight. Rocket's arsenal was absolutely bonkers, to be sure. But Stitch's superior speed, physical strength, and unbelievable intelligence gave him the win. Looks like this Rocket's black. Off again. The winner is. What's going on? What's going on? The winner is Stitch. What the heck just happened? What just happened? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have a new death. No, nah, hold on. What? What happens at that ending, though? What the freak? I'm so confused. All right, guys. That was Rocket versus Stitch. I. I was on the money with Stitch, cause like they said, it was really down to who was gonna who was gonna get that killing blow. Stitch, like I said from the beginning, he gets in close, he rips Rocket apart. Rocket, if he gets a, if he gets a powerful enough gun, then he'll shoot him down. Stitch, that is. But at the end of the day, Snitch, Stitch. Even though I personally don't think that he's smarter, he definitely thinks faster. And he can take a lot of punishment. A lot of freaking punishment. That's why I thought he was going to win. And, of course, I was right. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share all the good stuff. Eat your greens. Have a great Independence Day. You are loved, appreciated, and you're going to do amazing things. So keep that head up and keep pushing towards something great. That's all I got for you. I'm out. Peace.